Hi friends! Today we are hungry for some Indian tacos. Now, if you've never had an Indian taco, it's not going to be like a regular taco. We used to have these at youth camp when I was growing up, and we would go to this certain youth camp in, in the summer, and they would fix uh, what they called Indian tacos. Um, some call it Indian fry bread, and then you can make a taco out of the bread that you fry. So I'm going to show you how. The first thing you do is you get four cups of all-purpose flour. And I've already got that here in this bowl. And then we're gonna need half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna need a tablespoon of baking powder. And I'm using the type of girl. Oh, tablespoon. Okay, and then we're just gonna mix those dry ingredients together. Super easy, just like that. And then we're gonna add um, gradually one and a half cups of warm water. And when I say gradually, because you don't want to put too much, but then you don't want to get too little. And I do not have my water. Let me go ahead and get it. Okay, I'm back with my water. And I've got my dry ingredients mixed up. And we're going to gradually start um, putting our warm water in there. I'm going to go ahead and start with the cup. Okay, and then I'm going to see how much of that half a cup I need. So we're just going to mix this up. We're going to end up doing this with our hands, but just at first I like to use a spoon. And we are definitely going to need some more. So let's put in half of that and see how it looks. It's a sticky dough, so um, don't worry about that when you see how sticky it is okay we're definitely going to need some more we probably we're going to probably go ahead and need all of that so let's go we've got a cup and a half in there right now and that might be right on the money maybe not let me get just a little bit more we're going to just drizzle it Might have been a tablespoon. Okay, at this point I'm gonna use my hands. All right. You just keep working your dough. Maybe a drizzle more. Okay, that's right. Looks like everything's good and wet. Looks like Chris brought in some tomatoes from the garden. We'll make some salsa to go on top of these. Okay, we're going to knead this just for a little bit. Okay, we're going to make these a little bit bigger than a golf ball, but smaller than a baseball, okay? And we're just gonna roll these up in a ball, just like that. And we're gonna set them on this greased dinner plate that I prepared, and we're just gonna let them rest for about 15 minutes. Okay, we've already started making them, but I'm gonna, gonna head, go ahead and start uh, frying all these up. You just take one of your balls, it made eight, and you start working it into um, round, however big you want. Of course, the bigger, bigger it is, the thinner it's gonna be. And you can also put some flour on a surface with your rolling pin and um, roll them out. And then you just put it in some hot grease. I've got about an inch, inch and a half of hot grease in this skillet. And it don't take long 
to uh, to get done. You only want to flip it once and uh, cook it on one side and then flip it over and cook it on the other side. And it, like I said, it doesn't take long. So I'm gonna keep on frying these up. And cinnamon sugar is really, really good on them. Or you can make uh, tacos like we're gonna do. If it starts bubbling up, just take your fork. And you can even use a regular fork and kind of burst those. And I think it's probably ready to turn. Yeah. Let's start cooking the other side. Okay, we're still a frying, but I'm going to make one here and let y'all see down in the grease. And I think I'm gonna make cinnamon sugar out of this one. So we just uh, want to get some bubbles there. We just burst those and we're gonna only flip it once. It don't take long to get brown on that one side. Okay, we got that one out and we're gonna split, uh, sprinkle it with some cinnamon sugar. And uh oh, do you have a treat? Look at that. Woo, I'm going to let it cool for a little bit and then get a bite. Okay, so we're going to take a, a bite of our one with cinnamon sugar. Feel that crunch? Oh, it's good. Mm. And the middle is a little bit soft. Mmm. Okay, we've got some salsa, some cheese, some sour cream and lettuce. And then over here, I've made up now, when we make the original uh, Indian tacos, I don't think they put meat in it. But we like meat, they did, they just used beans with you know some juice on there. But I did fry up some hamburger meat with some onion, garlic, salt and pepper, and then a can of um, pinto beans. So we got that. And then we're just gonna put, um, I like to put a little cheese, that, some lettuce, and a little salsa. Actually a lot, I like a lot. <laughs> and then of course you gotta have your dollop of sour cream or large dollop. And that right there is an Indian taco. You'll love it. Try it.